Welcome back. This week on The Science of It, we have an easy and fun experiment that your kids can do right at home if you give them permission. <laughs> first, first warning meteorologist Alex Elisi shares this week's experiment that involves balloons and water. Hello everyone and welcome to The Science of It. I'm Alex Elisi here at the Orlando Science Center and I have Tori with me here today. And Tori, what are we talking about? Yeah, so we're going to do a fun science experiment that's going to look a little bit like an optical illusion. So we're trying to recreate laminar flow. So water and gas flow in two different ways. They either flow laminarly or uh, turbulently. Okay. And so laminar flow is basically it's going to flow in parallel lines. Um, and the, the latter, the turbulent flow, is it's going to flow in all different directions and kind of a little bit more chaotic than the laminar flow. Okay. So we're going to do it with a very simple experiment that you can recreate at home. So you're going to take a regular balloon, not a water balloon, a regular balloon yeah. and fill it up to the size of like a small lemon or grapefruit, um, like kind of like these sizes that we see here. Um, and then you're going to take some duct tape and we're going to make a square on top of the balloon to help it stay together. We're going to end up popping it here in okay. a minute. So you're going to want to create basically a small void in the middle of a duct tape square that's between a centimeter and like an inch. So just like a small little square. Okay, and the tape's going to prevent the balloon from exploding. Exactly. Okay. Because I would like to not get super <laughs> right. messy here. But so I'm going to use four different pieces and make sure you smooth it all the way so that it adheres nicely to the balloon. Whenever you fill your balloon with water and tie it up, you may need to dry it off with a paper towel to make sure it gets that um, good, it adheres well to the balloon. All right, so I'm gonna keep adding and I'll do one more here. We're gonna make sure we smooth it down. Okay. And then now we have a nice little square in the middle. I see, so you're making a square of the balloon itself. Yeah, so gotcha. we're gonna, this is gonna be the point that we will poke it at. Okay. Um, and then you're gonna use a sharp object. I have a box cutter here. Of course, you're gonna need your grown up self if you're gonna do this. Okay. You gotta be very careful. All right, so we have a bucket here prepared just to make sure. Okay. Um, but we're gonna see here in just a second, I'm gonna poke it and it's going to look uh, almost like ice. So it's gonna be a nice clear flow. And we see how it doesn't even look like it's flowing because it's so straight. All of those lines are parallel in that flow. Oh, very cool. So we've just created a very simple demonstration of laminar flow with stuff that you have at home. So this is the fluid's coming out. It's not turbulent. It looks like it's... Yeah, it's, it looks like it's still, basically. Okay. So it's parallel right there where it's coming out. Very All cool right. Story. Great job. Thank you for being a, such a good assistant. <laughs> I try. I try. <laughs> so any balloon will work, just not a water balloon. Just not a water balloon. I recommend fun colors like we used here today so you can really see, um, you know, how it works. Cool. All right, Tori, thank you so much, and thank you for joining us here on The Science of It. Very cool. And if you want to see some other cool things happening at the Orlando Science Center, it is open every day except for Wednesday from 10 to 5.